Greetings once again, heroes and villains. Dudes, 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 back again with My Hero Academia. Previously, All for One managed to beat back the heroes who seemed to be overwhelming him for a time. All for One even goes so far as to apparently steal Hawks' powers, although the rewind from the bit of Ares quirk that he has within him seems to be causing some kind of interference with his stealing of other quirks. I'm not sure if he fully managed to steal it or if he only just kind of managed to steal it. He even tries to go for Dark Shadow, but Mineta is able to give him enough pause for All for One to think, no, my time is running short, I need to get to Shigaraki. Meanwhile, on one of the UA evacuation facilities, one of All for One's spies causes it to stall and not be able to be in communication with anyone else. The rest of the Todorokis are there, and when a bit of damage happens to the facility and some debris falls, who should come in to save the day? Death Arms. Inspired by the effort that Deku is putting in against Tomura Shigaraki, we also see that Stain is at Kamino Ward, overlooking Shoto and Ida, with Shoto desperate to take on his brother yet again. Things to continue to get more desperate on both sides for both heroes and villains. What side will come out on top? Join me as we find out won't you? Alright, we pick up with the police force monitoring everything that is going down on the various battlefields and it is pandemonium. Natural disasters, what seems like them, going down all over the place. One officer says, boxes 17 through 32 have reactivated and all for one is now passing by Edo City. Tsukauchi calls out, is there anyone left who can fight? Another officer calls out, we're putting out calls to all sectors, but everyone's on their last leg. An officer falls back in terror, screaming out. Tsukuchi calls out, what is it now? The man says, from bad to worse, the heat, Gunga, Dobby's heat, uh oh. How hot is he getting? Tsukuchi grabs the man saying, what about his heat? Speak clearly. Is he spitting that hot fire? Does he have the drip? Tsukuchi says, is Endeavor dead? The man says, no, not yet, but he will be. Our analysis is conclusive. Ever since Dobby got knocked out the first time, he's been building it up inside. He hasn't stopped condensing that thermal energy within. At the current pace, in around 10 minutes or so, or maybe even just a few minutes, he'll annihilate himself. When that condensed thermal energy is released, it'll trigger a massive high pressure explosion that will burn everything off the map within 5 kilometers. Excuse me while I stupid American brain needs to convert that. Okay, over 3 miles. Jesus! <laughs> Tsukuchi starts sweating bullets. Cause there's no way everyone else is far enough away for that not to affect them. Labrava calls out, Yue in the east, Shuketsu in the west. The route between them passes near Gunga in the Kinki region. Uh, Kinki? Tsukuchi, uh, Tsukuchi questions, did Dobby somehow plan it this way on purpose? No. How could he know? So it's enough to reach both places? Tsukuchi thinks, wait. What if at that time, Skeptic provided him with that key detail? Oh, where best to strike to cause the most damage. One last hurrah, one last devastating impact. LeBrava calls out, reach out, reach out to them. There's no time to lose. Within that blast zone, we still have an evac box that stopped moving. Man, he'll end up killing his family too? Jeez. Gunhead, I guess, gets the communication saying, for real? Even this far underground? Open the emergency hatches. Everyone get to the surface. And the people call out as the bunker is being destroyed by m multiple explosions going off. Another officer at the console says, Tsukuchi, sir. All for one has sped up even more. We estimate he'll soon be in range to use his gloop warp. I'm sorry. That completely broke the tension of the moment as soon as you said gloop warp. Tsukuchi thinks to himself, once that pair of demon lords are united, they'll be unstoppable. He asks the officer, are there any reinforcements? The officer says, none, sir. Nobody's exactly fit to fight, and no heroes can possibly make it in time. Tsukuchi's face goes pale. Huh, someone calls out, listen, Tsukuchi. Huh. Meanwhile, back at Kamino, Ida is helping a limping Shoto. As Ida says, you're still feeling the blowback from your phosphor, Todoroki. Shoto says, I'm set, I'm fine. They're saying all for one will reach Midoriya, but I'm still on my feet. Ida says, 
The thoughts of your brother must weigh heavily on you. Shoto pauses, but says, I must do whatever I can. He remembers calling out to his brother, You want to kill me, right? Ida tells him solemnly, I can only imagine the feelings that drove you to stand against him like that. The suffering you've borne. You, the kind soul who told me to never forget who I want to become. Why is this your emotional burden to bear? Mm. And then the voice over the radio calls, Ah, ah, there, I got through. Oh, okay. It's All Might. You two boys, you're still with us, right? Shoto says All Might as he comes over the comms. All Might, in communication with Ida, Shoto, and Tsukuchi says, Every moment when it counts, so I'll make this quick. You need to run over to Gunga right now. Dabi is on the verge of exploding. And a stalled evacuation block is in the blast radius. Endeavor's keeping an eye on Dobby right now, but his quirk can't do a thing to stop the explosion. Ida, kid, you know how to run, right? And Todoroki, I, I think he's Todoroki, Ida Shonen, young Shonen, young Ida and young Todoroki. I like it better when he says it in the dub. Young Todoroki, the body and mind are two halves of the whole. You know that better than anyone. With the inner turmoil you've carried, Shota calls out, But All Might, all for one, he's... All Might says, Fear not, you've still got a mighty ally waiting in the wings. Battling on won't bring you victory if you carry doubt. But I've got the utmost respect for youngsters full of doubt, who nonetheless honor whatever it is that drove them, what drives them. Put a stop to Toya. Make everyone feel safe again, so you can be the best, be yourself. Your best self, Sheath. Now, if anyone can do a darn thing about the impending crisis at Gunga, it'd be a dynamic duo with engine and half hot, half cold. You're their only hope. You've got this. Shoto says, he wants you to run? But Ida, your engine stalled out. Does he realize how far it is to Gunga? Ida takes off his mask and puts it around Shoto. Ida tells him, the rain has done wonders for my engine's heat. Yes, I can run. I can do it. Because after all, Todoroki's Todoroki, my legs, are meant to guide wayward children. He says as he puts Shoto on his back, revving up his engine. And all the while, Stain looks on, saying, acting for the sake of others. Ida tells Shoto, hang on tight. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Whoa! He goes launching at blistering speeds, breaking through multiple buildings along the way. Jeebus! <laughs> As Zita calls out, maximum speed! Shoto looks like he's about to fall the fuck off. Damn! <laughs> like a friggin' missile launch. We see Hawks cradling Tokoyami's body in a report saying, according to Hawks' account of the battle against All for One, the de-aging process has boosted his power while leaving him unable to suppress negative emotion. Oh, that's the childishness he's starting to feel. He, All for One is starting to feel petty because he's getting younger, impulsive. Tsukuchi calls out to All Might, don't. Don't be crazy. Meanwhile, All Might is standing in the path of All for One, having just gotten out of his car, holding a briefcase, saying, This is how it has to be, Tsukuchi. After all, this was always my fight. You must remember the endless warring that got us here. And now I hear that Tomura Shigaraki's hatred is even affecting your original body. So I'm thinking you won't be able to ignore me. Isn't that right? Oh, he's playing into All For One's pettiness. All For One should know that he only has so much time, but because of All For One's mindset, he's hoping that that'll make the difference. Tsukiichi calls out, No, stop, you're quirkless! And All For One remembers Izuku's words, Can someone without a quirk be a hero like you? But All For One imagines that being said to his young quirkless self. And as All Might stands his ground, ah. Oh. That panel is so good. We finally get the chapter title. My Hero Academia number 386. I am here. Oh shit. Don't tell me the car is gonna act like a battle suit. Oh, come on. Tell me he got that from his friend, David Shield. That would be amazing. Because you see the briefcase as well as the car start to transform. <laughs> and all for one who sees All Might has a furious look in his eyes. Just <laughs> like this manic sneer. Like, oh, he, like, he's just like, screw everything else. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn. I am so ready for the next chapter. I know he had some kind of support item back in the day, but he said he couldn't really use it. Is this it? Ah, oh, dude. Freaking Iron Man suit comes out. Like, damn. Oh, I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Like, something about how hard these pages go. Just, I feel like Horikoshi had this in mind for the longest time. Like, he was just ready for this. Like, some say that All Might should have died at Kamino Ward when he had that previous fight. But I think him being depowered made a little bit more sense. Because... You know, that conversation with Stain he had previously, and him rising to the occasion even without his power showing that even without his abilities, he's still willing to fight the good fight. Just like, it wasn't the power that made who you were. It was the heart! <sighs> and it just makes so much sense. The only thing that could ever get All For One to pause. Just, just because he's that much of a petty shit. It's All Might, the man who beat him. The man who kept stopping him. The man who kept getting in his way. All for one is such a genius mastermind, but he makes the dumbest moves when it comes to All Might. And especially now that he's younger and more impetuous. Oh, I love that. His own last ditch effort will end up being his undoing. That is awesome. That way we can have the final fight between All Might and All For One, and the final fight between Deku and Shigaraki going on simultaneously. Dude, yes. Can you still be a hero without a quirk? It feels like there's that panel of All Might just being like, You're damn right, kid. Ugh. Oh, so many hype moments. All Might popping off. Ida launching with the sp Speed of the gods and Dobby, like he's building up thermo thermal energy. You can make it like he's he's a mass explosive about to go off, a thermonuclear bomb. Yeah. So between all for one reverting in age and the fact that he's being influenced by Tomura's hatred. Which is funny too, because it's the very hatred All For One was cultivating in Tomura. So I love that. Like, everything he tried to use and manipulate for his own good is just gonna backfire on him all at once. Again, you don't have to beat him. Just run out the clock. But I'm not sure. What can Todoroki do? What can Shoto do to stop Dobby from igniting? I mean, I doubt he can keep him from just going full on boom i think dobby will still just boom and him taking himself out just gotta that feels like that solves a, a lot of things honestly because if anything i'm like i can't see endeavor killing him i can't see todoroki killing him and i can't see him just being locked away but him <laughs> self-destructing i can see that you know what i can see that the funny thing is the villains are mostly taking themselves out for the most part. Because between Dobby and All for One, it's just like, their actions are killing themselves, so... But I just don't know how Todoroki will contain the explosion. But as I always say, this is gonna look amazing animated. Just... Oh, chef's kiss. Oh, I can't wait. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe for more My Hero Academia manga. And until then, I've been Deuce Diz Din. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.